Good morning, good morning, good morning. Bright and early this morning out here at Hanada Terminal 3 International Airport. This is the departures area. So I've just been up bright and early this morning driving all the way from Narimasu to Hanada Terminal 3 to drop off my mum and dad who are flying out this morning. So look at this beautiful, beautiful sakura. Now this actually looks potentially real. It's a pretty amazing full bloom. And I really love these huge moss balls here. I can't imagine how they carried them up here. Unless it's like a styrofoam ball. But how is everybody? Ayugono! Hisashi Buri! Good to see you. Good morning, good morning. And Fatura Man! Wow! Two names I haven't seen in chat for quite a while. I hope you're both well. So, Mum and Dad, I said bye to them. They've been here for about six days now. And we've had a very, very hectic time. So, I thought this would be a good opportunity to show you how busy Hanada Airport is on a Monday morning. So, my parents are flying to Manila but on a co-chef flight, Anna, to Manila. And then, they've got a transit for about five hours and then they're on their way to Doha and then further onwards to Vienna for an Austrian Consul Conference. <coughs> ah, you've been doing Ramadan for the last... Okay, so Ramadan is almost finished. Yeah, I kind of thought Ramadan would be ending fairly soon, so good to yeah, and it's ending in about two days. So this is the upper area up here with all of the last minute souvenirs and tax free goods and a few restaurants and tea cafes and yeah, I quite like it. So I was thinking I might do a walk towards Hanada Airport Garden which is an area that I've never actually explored before so I'm curious to see what it's actually like I'm pretty sure it's just a huge shopping centre so before I go there I will show you guys this upper area here maybe we can go out and peek out the window and see if there's any airplanes we can see <coughs> Tokyo Pop Town it's been a while since I did a Hanada Airport exploration. The last time I did it was when the country opened up. So it must have been a good two years ago. Let's go out to this observation deck out here. Observation deck. David Thomas, good morning, good morning. Thank you for joining for this fairly spontaneous live stream. Ah oh man, it is a beautiful day today. Today and yesterday were both absolutely stunning. So yesterday, um, Yuka, my mum and dad and Kyle went to Shinjuku Gyoen to check out the Hanami there and Sakura was absolutely stunning. Here we have the Jiao terminal down here. So I believe my parents are flying Anna, so they must have 
must be somewhere down this way. It's a very, very family friendly area out here at Hanada Airport. It's just so nice to check the outside. So my pick is that it's their plane is going to be this Anna one right at the end. It's going to be my guess. Or it could be this one. Hello, Denny Bertone. Hola. Greetings from Brazil. Welcome to our channel. I'm Daniel. Hello, hello, hello. And normally I stream with Yuka, but she is back at home with baby Kyle because I had to leave super early this morning leave the house at about six but truth be told I did actually sleep in a little bit because Kyle was a little bit uh, grizzly so he woke up at just after three so I had to feed him and get him settled and take him up to, to Yuka so I, um, I did actually sleep in until about 18 past 6, but we made it here only about 25 minutes later than originally scheduled. So, fortunately, the check in process was relatively straightforward. But my parents were actually banking on uh, there being a an apex line for them to be able to fast track the uh, initial security procedures but sadly Canada Terminal 3 does not have an apex priority line so they had to go through everything with all of the regular economy class passengers a little bit annoyed about but oh well Shogunai, Shogunai. So Hanada is, as you may have seen on the news, it's one of the most busiest airport terminals in the world. Especially now that Japan has become extremely desirable as a tourist destination spot. Oh, Brad Ward, thank you. Thank you so much for the coffee donation. As an aviation geek, imagine my reaction to seeing the alert that we get a stroll around a part of Hanada today. Thank you so much. Oh, there you go. There's the money shot. There's a gel airline. There's a gel plane there. Can you identify what type of, what class of plane it is? Is it a 737? It's definitely not a 787. It could be a 747. Who can tell?
because I'm outside and air, airplanes are noisy. They have a tendency to be fairly noisy. aviation fans out here who have extreme lenses and they can get their incredible close-up shots. Oh, there's a plane. Check out the other end of the observation game before 
going back inside. As you can see, it is a beautiful day, but it is supposed to rain later this afternoon, so clouds are looking a little bit ominous over, over towards Tokyo. Yes, there were actually a lot of people checking in boxes of shopping and freight uh, to, on the flights to the Philippines. Yes. So that was part of the delay and oversized baggage and lots of extra support being needed for those people, for those passengers. exclusively flown one world flights so either Qantas, Jetstar, JAL or Emirates. I've flown the occasional Air New Zealand domestic flight internally within New Zealand but apart from those um, my international airline experience is not super huge. I've, I've flown American Airlines a couple of times, Alaskan Airlines uh, from LA up to Vancouver, um, Air Canada a few times I guess, so that's a bit. Malaysian Airlines, um, what's, what's the um, Indonesian airline? This, beat, this video is like one month too late. Uh, sorry about that, Gochi. I didn't actually have a reason to come out to Hanada Airport. Oh, look at that. There's a Cathay Pacific flight there. I saw that before. I'm, I'm quite a fan of Cathay Pacific. They've got a very nice product flying to Hong Kong. So yes, I have flown Cathay Pacific a few times. Of course, there's the local Papua New Guinea airline, Air New Guinea. Garuda, Air Garuda. That's, that's one thing. Thank you very much, Brad. Thank you, thank you. So yes, this must be the Korean airline flying off, taxiing now to go to Seoul Airport. You're late. Yes, my parents are flying out of here on an Anna flight, which could very well be this one here. Now their flight is supposed to take off at 9.45. So I presume that they are probably sitting on the plane right now. Actually, I wonder if we can see the tail number, or like the airline number for this Anna flight. So we can determine whether it is actually this flight or the one down the other end of the terminal. That's always kind of a fun game to play. So I can wave at them. Oh, the odds just got weaker because there's a second Anna plane down there. Uh, where's the number? Where's the number? Check if JA928A is flying to Manila. Is it 
So, my mum and dad will be on this plane here. But if not, they're on one of those two ones there. So my, my odds have just uh, dropped to a one in three chance of guessing correctly. I don't think I can get down on the observation deck as far as those planes over there. It's those two there. Hey, Nathan Smith, how are you? Good, good morning. No, I have not found any stray cats. But, speaking of stray cats, I actually, when I was trying to get to sleep last night, uh, at about 1, 1.30 in the morning, I actually heard my first stray cat outside the, outside our house. Like it was really loud. So our neighbor actually has a cat. Uh, this one here, the tail. JA928A. 928A. Is this one? So this one just arrived from Frankfurt, you know, outbound flight. So it's probably not. Okay, so we've narrowed it down. So it's either gonna be either of those two down that end there and I really don't think I'll be able to spy the tail number from this distance. Maybe if I stand on the elevation thing over there I might get a slightly better view. Eighty-two A. It's twenty-eight A. Nine twenty-eight J A nine twenty-eight A. Brad Wood. Not eighty-two A. On the far west side. What? Oh well. Heck. <laughs> I'm not going to see them on that side. On this side of the airport. Towards the city. Really? Ah, oh, okay, 928 right from Frank. And I'm actually thinking of the Emirates A380. That is the two-story up and down first class upstairs and business etc on the downstairs. Towards the city. Is it on the other side of there? I wonder if there's a second observation deck. I don't think so. I don't think so. Zoom in on the tail. Sadly, I think there's too many obstructions. So I am actually feeling a little overdressed. It's very, very warm. It's 17 with a high of 21 today. Sadly, my eyes are not good enough. Oh, I can maybe see. But it's probably... It's probably... Be so oh, there we go. JA83, is that an 8 or a 6? 836A. JA836A is the far one. Ah, gates on the other side of the building. 
Okay, gate 149, that sounds right. Okay, so this is a bit of a lost cause, sadly, then. Because their flight is taking off on the other side of where they... Where's 836A flying off to? Ah, so this must be the arrival side. Departure side must be on the other left side. 836A came from Los Angeles. Okay. When they taxi out, they'll go past. Yeah, okay, well, that should be in like five minutes or so, because I guess they're going to have to taxi out and go. So if you guys are okay with waiting for another five, five to eight minutes, spotters who come out here specifically just to try and uh, get good photos of particular airlines that they're interested in for their collection. I'm not quite sure what they do with said photos in their collection but maybe they're part of a Reddit group or something, a plain fanciers association. Shell pushing back is 787 going to Dalian. JA829J, so Dalian. Where is Dalian? Is that in China? Or Taiwan? China? Dalian sounds Chinese. wind is not too noisy. I'm gonna guess that this Lufthansa plane arrived from somewhere in Germany. I don't really see any code of Manila and then they have to transfer to Qatar Airways and they're flying to Doha and then I think they have a transit there for about another two hours and then onwards to Vienna and Austria. So my dad is the Austrian consulate for Port Moresby in Papua New Guinea. So once a year they have a conference meetup of all of the Austrian delegates from around the world uh, to just catch up and discuss diplomatic stuff.
777. What? We're not supposed to leave until 9.45. It's 9.43. Surely they wouldn't have flown out already. Surely not. on this little guy riding the cart over there. That was my two minutes of fame, <laughs> of uh, access. How much time do you get? 150 seconds. Was that 150 seconds good value for um, uh, 100 yen? I don't know. Chot, chot them out there. I've just got to turn my gimbal back on. So 150 seconds, that's a minute and a half. A minute and a half of uh, telescope time. I think that's the first time I've ever used one of these telescope things, so I guess I can scratch it off my bucket list, just for chat. So thank you, thank you Brad Wood, your uh, coffee donation contributed towards that. Contributed towards whatever we we ended up seeing. Oh, I wonder if there's a plane over here. Look at this Joe, this Anna. Is that Anna flight there taxi? No, that's landing or parking. POV colonoscopy, yes. 
Oh, Daniel, they have pushed back. They should be coming into view in a few minutes. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you so much, Brad Wood. So this is using the 5X zoom on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Prism Live still does not have a fix for the in-camera stabilization, so I do apologize if it is a little shaky shaky. I am on their back harassing them very regularly to try and get them to uh, fix it. They promised me that it's in the queue to fix. It's another one. JA822A flying to. JA822A. It should be a fairly long taxi if they're on the other side of this terminal here. Because it'll have to taxi down here to the runway. we haven't missed yet, because that would be sad. But then I'm just like standing in the heat, sweating. Hey, the pork rinds. Welcome, welcome. How can it say the Anna flight from Hanada to Manila says departed? So what was interesting is that Mum and Dad actually landed on Philippine Airlines, but uh, they are flying out on Anna, which is code share Philippine Airlines. So I'm not sure if you can check two different uh, flights. Because Gucci is saying that it has departed already. So maybe it's just taxiing out from the from the air bridge. Is that a sky mark, man? Man, it's so crazy trying to think of all of the logistics of an airport. Can you imagine working at an airport? If you're an aviation geek, holy cow, it would be a dream job working at the airport. Now check out this guy to the left of me's lens. Now that's what I call a lens. He's got extreme zoom cam. Look at that Lufthansa taking off. Lufthansa looks a lot bigger than this little tiny Lufthansa and it seems to have their old logo too. They haven't updated all of the livery on it. Is it taking off or landing? Hey Mike, how are you? Seven dash eight landing from Frankfurt. Only 
Reina loves Japan in this way. Appreciate all of these German flights landing. So we determined that Anna taxiing that there is to Chicago. Xavier Priest. You will be here at Hanada next Sunday. Can't wait. Well, safe travels for next Sunday. Whereabouts are you flying from? And welcome to the stream. It definitely looks like a much bigger plane than this little tiny upper level would definitely be a first class, business class mix. The sky suites or whatever they call them on Lufthansa, sky cabin. French Guyana in South America. That's an exotic locale. Oh, could this be it? Could this be them? Could this be them? Could this be my mum and dad? Now for the life of me, I am not so shaky. On maximum zoom. That's maximum zoom. 8878. That could be them. Matane, Mama. Matane, Otosan. Safe flight. Oh, there's a Silver Seed Air domestic LCC plane. visit baby Kyle. So it was quite a momentous trip for me. So they had a great time. Where the heck did the plane go? I lost the plane. The plane just like disappeared behind the Lufthansa plane. Like, what? Did anybody see where that plane departed to? Oh, it snuck out there. Okay, that's very sick. Japan. There's, there's kind of two Anna flights. There's this one, the 
and then there's a second one behind it. So I'm gonna guess that it's the second one behind it. Is it the first one or the second one, Gary? The far one, so this one here. The one on the left. What? The second one? This one? I'm so confused, and there goes another one taking off. that just took off and zoomed up, soared up there was the best. Not sure if I captured it or not. 
Street. Take off into the distance, okay? There's one plane waiting to take off and this is next. Okay, phew, I haven't missed it. But this is the best place to be. Exciting, it's getting exciting. Who else is on the edge of their seats? I know I am. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. 
Where is it? This one over here. It's also a nana. But Brad Wood says yes. That's, that's them. Okay, farewell, farewell, farewell. You can see I'm very, very soon out. Sure. Okay, we are done. We are done. Sorry about that. Did the signal recover? I had a bit of a glitch. Sorry about that. realized the Philippines was so close. It's been absolutely years since I went to the Philippines. I think the last... I have not been to the Philippines in like 24, 25 years. It's been a crazy, crazy long time. So thank you everybody. I hope you've enjoyed uh, plane spotting and being part of my farewell to my parents or oh, the cost of this life oh it's Philippines and they were flying uh, they were flying economy so I can't imagine it would have been that bad oh the starry cafe is here and they have a pronto a sakura pronto it's quite interesting they have a Don Quixote out here, which is called Soda Donkey. So Soda is sky, so it's a sky donkey. Yeah. And a planetarium. Planetarium. Yeah, it is quite a long flight for them to get to Austria. But anyway, we are back in the terminal. So when I came back from Papua New Guinea, I actually landed at Hanada Terminal and I caught the bus to... where did I catch the bus to? Shinjuku? And then I tried to catch the truck... Huh? How did I get that? I caught the bus to Shinjuku, then I had to walk to catch the train, yeah, and I caught the train with all my luggage. Anyone heard from TE? Last I heard, he'd been a little bit sick. The weather's been terrible, so he doesn't like streaming in the rain. And of course, because it's a late Sakura season, um, he's been fully, fully booked with photography session. So he has been super swamped with with workload. So we are kind of in peak, almost peak, almost peak Sakura season right now. So okay, so arrivals, I'm going to come down 
Pretty epic stream. That was a super, super long stream. and restaurants, yes. This is over by Hotel Bella Fontaine. I wonder what... Hopefully they have a star mark. Sugi Bee Garden. Mm. You remember standing right here, confused as all hell? Oh, I'm sure you would have been. First time in Japan, stepping off a long international flight, slightly tired, slightly disoriented. The noise and hustle. Actually, I think I'm probably better to go to Pally's Coffee. Everything else is kind of restaurants. I've still got to drive all the way back. So Tally's it is. Did you fly into Hanada Airport? Jonathan? from the UK. Weekly fascination. Good morning, it's good morning. <laughs> so apparently Anna has just ramped up their departure lounge. So they've got a pretty fancy airport lounge at Hanada. I'm not quite sure if it's open yet, but it should be opening very, very soon. <laughs> now, I need... Uh, what do I want? I want an espresso beverage. I'm gonna get an espresso shake. My mum had one of those and she said it was very sweet. Can I explain to you the tax-free shops? Yes, yes I can. Uh, the tax-free shops you can basically buy from a lot of shops in, in Tokyo and they will either give you the tax portion as cash and then they will staple a receipt into your passport or they will just automatically deduct the tax and only charge you on your credit card the tax-free amount. And they will still staple something into your passport. So when you go through immigration, uh, departing the country then you need to just show the receipts and nine times out of the ten they don't want to actually see the product so read into that what you will all the American tallies went bankrupt that's crazy 
The swirkle is a bit too close to swirly. That's right. What is a swirkle? A swirkle is like a frappuccino, basically. It's a frozen ice beverage. And it's kind of hot. So. I will be getting an espresso shake. Although I am fairly partial to the tea lister Earl Grey Royale. That's also very nice. And also, the, to be honest, all of these are fire. They are really, really delicious. Yes, it is very peculiar. Tully's has got a new coffee crop. This is their house blend from Honduras. Oh, enjoy your coffee. Arigato. Thank you so much. Thank you, Number 1528. I'm number 1531. Sengo Kaku Sanjuriksi. Ah, uh, look at the cute Tully's bears. The Tully's bears are kai. Alright. Arigato for the super chat. Weekly fascination. Nico. Nico. Nico, 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 Nya 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 Nya, Arigato! I wonder which coffee does best? Hmm, well, we've got French roast, we've got mocha java, we've got Brazilian coffee. I think it all depends on like, the altitude, the humidity can affect Honduras. Papua New Guinea has very, very good coffee. Hi. Sengo Haku Sanju Ichi. Sengo Haku Sanju Ichi. Hi. Sengo Haku Sanju Ichi. Hi. Sengo Haku Sanju Ichi. Hi. Sengo Ballpark dog with avocado. Ballpark dog with avocado, okay. Let's see what this is like. Ballpark dog, oh my gosh, that's a lot of avocado. <laughs> that is a lot of avocado. I know I said that 
I would be um, taking it out, but I didn't realize that it would be in an awkward, bulky cardboard box. So I'm just going to smash this as quickly as possible. Pit, there we go. There's my nutritious breakfast. <laughs> my nutritious airport drop off pick breakfast. Oh my gosh, now the cow plastic is one way. Okay, I love the hot dog. What is your favorite way of eating a hot dog? Do you like New York style, baseball game style? Ah, oh, no, I messed up. I squeezed too hard. Oh, no, my perspective is whack. <laughs> Items in viewfinder may be nearer or further than anticipated. I mustarded it on the table. wipe that up. Anyway, here we go. <laughs> mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> well, I think the avocado makes it seem healthier. Hot dog completed. <clears throat> I'd give it a solid seven, seven out of ten. Espresso shake swirkle. I'm not really sure what a swirkle is. Swirly twerkle, twerking, a swirkle. <laughs> I wonder who the marketing genius was that came up with swirkle. Were they Seattle based? Okay, here we go. I'm being a good corporate citizen by cleaning up my mustard. Now, I think. <clears throat> Good to go. 
good. Threw my trash out. Plastic. Plastic. Let's go. Mm -hmm. <sighs> well, I'm very glad I got to actually see Mum and Dad's flight take off, but I don't think I could have done it without your guys assistance so thank you thank you very much so I'm here and fast to get to Hanada Airport now my car is parked in P5 over here but I wanted to go quickly do a speed run through Hanada Airport Garden because I've never been there and it's like a shopping precinct they built attached to the Villa Fontaine Hotel Do not take ivory out of Japan. Now here is where you need to actually get bus tickets from. This is where I got a bus ticket from. I bought a bus ticket, a bus to Shinjuku on the expressway. I, I did want to catch the Ikebukuro one. But arriving early in the morning from Sydney, um, the first bus to Ikebukuro was not until like 9 30, 10 o'clock, which was like a two, like a three hour wait. And I didn't have time for that because when I arrived, we had to meet up with um, Emmy. Lemmy and Yuka-chan for Yuka-chan's birthday. Hanada Airport Garden is down here. As you can see, a lot of the signs do have English on them. So, bus it. Bus. Oh, look at that. That's the kanji for map. So, a map, like a chart with bus. And it even has Hangul. It's changing. Charted bus. So, I need to return to here to get to my car. Hanada Airport Garden. And there's actually a free shuttle bus that started last year in July, I believe. It takes you to the other garden place. So this is Hanada Airport Garden and then there's another garden place called Ariake Garden. Look at this fancy hotel, spa hall, bus, shops, and restaurant. This is the swanky hotel out here, the Villa Fontaine Premier. This is very luxurious. It seems like a little bit of an understatement of the description here and the name of the bar is a little bit extravagant. <coughs> it's called The Throne. A bar and lounge with an enjoyable night view. Over there, Villa Fontaine. I'm surprised they don't advertise that they have an onsen there. That's random, they should. 
Oh, I guess maybe it's because it says spa. It says hotel spa. It's very nice to have a green wall. I'm not sure if it's real though. Sadly, it's artificial. It's an artificial green wall. Would it be nice to have a realistic one? This is replica Japanese armor. Very, very cool samurai armor, which is worth 480,000 yen. So that's approximately 3,150 US dollars. and Pikachu and Dragon Ball underwear. Hmm. Oh, it's Kakao Cat. I love Kakao Cat. Yeah, Kakao Cat. Oh, oh. Yuka's mum actually got us one of these, Fujisan Yokan, as a souvenir from when she came back from Kagoshima. It's sitting at our house. We haven't eaten it yet because it's too adorable. Shiro Ebi Senbei. Wow, look at these ghost Ebi. Ghost Ebi Senbei. Look at that, you can see right through them. Are from Kanazawa, Ishikawa Prefecture. And the rice is from Toyama. Look at that, you can see it. Ghost shrimp, yes. There's the Hotel Villa Fontaine over there. This is a gift shop here with gifts from Kyoto. Kyoto Premium Bread. And all of these are global tax free stores here. So if you forget to hit up any of the local stores selling goods and snacks, and you're like, oh my gosh, I forgot to buy thank you gifts or presents, souvenirs for all of my friends. This is a good place to come. Products related to cherry blossoms that are perfect for spring. Blooming Japan. This is worth 902,000 yen, apparently. Is this fossilized wood? Wow. Ooh, there's a little fish in there. There's a couple of fish in there. Kawaii. North Kedango. There's a dango shop there. <coughs> Kurabe Soba. You can buy soba. Coffee equipment. Mm. Ooh, a coffee equipment shop. Paper filters, fancy drip, glass jewelry. Wow, look at that. A glass. Tokyo Tower. Kire. Hario. 500 yen for a miss. Mm. You're either going to get a little pecan or. Mm. What are you supposed to do with that? Are you supposed to drink coffee in it? Is brewer micro 
a pico espresso a pico espresso it's a me Hario <laughs> let's a hole Japanese tea, Kimikura. Oh, I might have a sample. Papa mm. What are they making? That papa bubble. Matcha and sake. Kyoto matcha and sake. Oh, look at that. They have strong matcha latte, strong matcha cafe, strong matcha soft serve ice cream. I think a lot of this stuff. Oh, do they? Oh, they've got Kyoto beers as well. Kizakura. Kyoto beers and. <coughs> Tokyo Rusk. Oh. One of my favorite uh, like airport souvenirs to get is Royce chocolate. I don't know if any of you have ever tried the. Nama Champagne Matcha but oh my gosh it is so good with pandas kimono panda <gasps> what I need this in my life shrimp chips and cheese kawaii Shrimp, chips, and cheese. Shrimp, chips, and cheese. Cheese sandwiched between light textured shrimp crackers. So there's three different cats. There's Sakura, Ofuji, and Bota. Which do you think has got the cutest design? Bota, Ofuji, the green one, or Sakura? They look so cute. They're too cute to smash. Too cute to eat. Yeah, I, I think Sakura is probably cute. Okay, let's Last minute. Tour of Canada Airport Garden. This is signal is bad. So they have a gazebo down there, but can you look? Luggage. So I guess if you're staying here at the hotel. This is a good place to get prepared for if you are Japan trippers just kicking off. Yeah, so it's basically a mall inside the airport. So there's the actual Villa Fontaine there. And yeah, if you land and you just want to get used to jet lag and everything before kicking off a one or two week adventure across Japan. Look at this, I've even got a whole bunch of exotic Kit Kat flavors. At, right here at the local Lawson. They even have the sake one, the Fuji one. Matcha, peach, chestnut, strawberry, lemon, matcha. What the heck is that one? It looks like a sandwich one. Azuki sandwich. An apple. Oh! It's the wasabi one, Tamaruya wasabi. So guys, I think I'm going to have to call the stream very, very soon. Probably when I get back to the car park area. Look at this, they have Jojo captions. Patrol. Hopefully, 
maybe Kyle would like the Paw Patrol. Sender. She caught the Shinkansen this morning from Sender, uh, from Tokyo to Sendai. So she did a very short ASMR live stream this morning. And she must be arrived in Sendai now to visit her family. So yes, I'm not sure how expensive the rooms are at the Villa Fontaine premiere, but it seems very... Can we raid Lemmy? Yes, raiding Lemmy would be a good idea if you guys are not already in Lemmy's stream in a separate uh, browser tab. And please go and send Lemmy some love. And of course, before you go, please don't forget to smash the like button. This is a beautiful Yamaha piano here. Is this one, oh my gosh, this one's even more expensive. This is 1.4 million yen. Wow, look at that. Is this real Sakura? No, this is fake Sakura. You can't have fake Sakura during Sakura season. <laughs> It's forbidden. So this is where you catch the chartered bus and where you also walk towards the car park. So luckily I was able to get a pretty decent car park on the ground floor as well. Another fun stream, yes. Well, it wasn't really planned, but I just figured, oh, might as well kill just over an hour while waiting for mum and dad to fly out. So I did kind of want to wave goodbye to them. Every level has a different animal. Level 3 is peacock, level 2 is rooster, and I'm on level 1. And I think it's swan. Swan or duck? Is this a duck or is it a swan? I can't tell. Still doing it. Da -da -da -da. Where do I pay my parking? Parking? This is confusing. I don't know where I pay my parking. I've got a ticket. <sighs> Dang it! I preempted too much. <laughs> I have to pay. 
okay on the third floor. So I've been up to seven hours from entry. So it's going to be 150 yen per 30 minutes I've been here. I've been here since eight o'clock. 7.50 I've been. I've been here since 7.50 and it's now 10. 10.50. So that's three hours. <coughs> Prepayment terminal on Peacock. Dang it, I walked right past it. <laughs> what are the other animals? Level four is Tsubame, which is like little swallows, Fukuro. Level five, owl, washi, eagle, tsuru, the crane, pelican, and hato, pigeon. Hopefully I don't go over the three hours. <laughs> Aha, I walked right past it. Level six is definitely American, why do you say that? How much is it? What's the damage? So that's like, what is that in US dollars? Seven dollars? This is the beast, the beast mobile. Da, 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 da. Let's go. Okay, so that brings us to <clears throat> the end of the stream. Thank you, thank you so much, everybody, for joining. It was fun. I haven't done an airport stream for a very long time, and if you enjoyed it, don't forget to smash the like button and please leave us a comment for the algorithm greatly appreciated. Until next time, if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe if you have enjoyed today's stream. Until next time, matanyan! Bye-bye! <coughs> ah, so, uh, bag of pork rinds, that was the balance left on my Suica card. So the actual amount of the parking was a thousand and fifty yen. Yep, 1,050 yen. So it deducted that, and that's how much I have remaining. So just to answer that. 
Fungus, good to see you, good to see you, just as I'm ending up the stream. Anyway, we had fun at Hanada Airport and I'll see you next time. Probably with Yuka and baby Carl in tow. Uh, he needs to have more vaccinations this week, so um, we sort of got to get him prepped for that. And he's still a little bit sick. He's got a bit of a chesty cough. So um, we went and got him some medicine two days ago and he's still taking that. So, okay, with that, I'm out because I've got to drive all the way back. So see ya.